Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It is the 12th day before Christmas. And my true love is probably not in this game. But, close enough. This is the Seal Blasphemous Prayer uh, little showcase vid. Because I have not had one of these in probably 4 or 5 years. And now I actually know how to use it. So let's get right into it. First, we're going to go over to Realm. I check out the stats before we get into gameplay. All right. As you can see here, we have the Seal of Blasphemous Prayer. A uh, seal that is said to briefly borrow the power of the gods themselves. Some paladins shun its dark power. Others embrace it. It is UT. It is an event white drops from a penaract. Um, let's go through some of this here. So the MP cost is 120, which makes it, balances it quite a bit. Um, okay, so for your duration, range, and for how long you're invulnerable, there's these equations. And these equations all have to do with your whiz. The higher your whiz, the better the buff. Pretty much. Uh, to give a quick little rundown, if you want to plug this in, I'm not going into this. I'm good at math. I just, I just don't want to do this in the moment. So you take 5 divided by 5 plus your whiz over 30. And you take your whiz, if it's less than 30, that's your... That'll be your amount of seconds, and if 30 is less than or equal to your whiz, that is your seconds. And the same goes for these other ones. This one, you just take 1.2 over 125 instead of 30, because obviously you can't be invulnerable for that long. Party effects gives healing and damaging, uh, which, you know, typical. Stat bonus, plus 4 speed, minus 4 death. Uh, minusing that four death, um, if you have nothing on but the seal on a max character, it technically makes that character the weakest melee in the game. But you know, you can balance it out with armors and stuff. As you saw, I had a candy coated on to give me more defense. Um, fame bonus 6%, which is a great fame bonus. Everyone strives to have that on every piece of equipment they have. Cooldown, 5 seconds, so you can't spam it. Feed power, 750. In my eyes, I feel like easily should be above a 1,000. Because uh, you, I mean, you get multiple chances a realm, so it does make sense. It's better chances than an Ogma or a Jug. Uh, obviously, White Bag drops from Penaract. Let's go through some of the notes here. So the notes on the realm I says a sacrifice of four defense in exchange for four speed has its uses, but any item that compromises bulk should be used with caution. Use of the seal will leave the paladin with a maxed base defense of twenty six, like I was saying, making this class squishier than the warrior, which is also what I was saying. As the warrior at least gains defense from his ability, because this item is not good in every situation it is recommended to have a tiered seal to use, as the only real use for the seal is to prevent one-shots. I'd like to disagree with that. I find the seal very useful in many situations. I've used it many times in private servers. On It's pretty much the same thing, because I'm playing on the same class. Maybe I have a better sword or whatever. Fun facts. Original testing description was when the gods confront their worst enemies. They arm their paladins with the seal. I like that. If you're under the effect and vulnerability, you can still take damage from liquids that damage you, such as lava, magma, and evil water. This is the only item in the game that can give you invulner invulnerability. Descriptions in-game may currently bugged, causing wisdom affecting equipment to appear to have twice effect they really do. Uh, it only affects the description. It's not actually giving you twice as much. But so it's saying go off the formulas on this page. Uh, the seal is often referred to as an Oreo by players due to it looking just like an Oreo, top of an Oreo cookie. 
If we're not a player who already has zero defense, their defense stat is lowered to negative four. Then they take four more damage per shot than before. So, those are the stats. Not much to it. Let's get over into some gameplay. Start this gameplay off. As you saw, I started the video in a weird location. We are starting over by the arena. So, I decided, might as well just go test it in here. Sorry about the mic if it's bad in any way. I am not going to be redoing this video if it is, unless if it's like completely can't understand me. Because I've noticed like you can hear me breathe, and that's just where my typical mic placement is. But now that I'm recording, I'm going to try to fix that so it's not as bad. So it's just a little further away from my face in this moment. So I might I might be coming off quieter than normal. Because usually I'm fucking lit. Alright, I'll get back to you guys when we start getting on the higher arena rounds and actually getting into some fun. Alright, so a good time to start using this is probably going to be on this stage, stage 10. When you get your first little fire dude coming at you. Um, these are not currently in the game. I think they were once back, way back in a previous build. But they took them out. They are pretty strong. I would say definitely way stronger than any god in the game, per se. But that's just my opinion. There's also these little guys who aren't in the game. But they do, I don't know, they do okay damage, I guess. But... We're using the seal for the first time, and it's turning out to be quite effective for certain situations. As you saw, the fire guy was doing quite a bit of damage to me. I don't know his name. Or that would be calling him his name. I don't know these guys' names. Like these, well, these are the Phoenix henchmen. That's what I would call them. But as you can see, the damaging it gives is nice, which is the same as this, just less range, obviously. The cooldown on the T6 one is only 0.5 of a second, while the Oreo, as we when we went over the stats, is 5 seconds, so there's a little notch. But it's all about that invulnerability, because this is the only item in the game that gives you that effect, and it definitely will come in clutch. We're going to do a couple more waves, see how it goes. I'm like missing people I guess but we'll see how it goes I right, I won't be talking much I'm just gonna try to focus get up to some higher waves start seeing some actual bosses I feel like the arena is very underappreciated because of the fact that it's cheap they I think they knocked it down from a thousand fame to now it's only 250 so if you were interested in doing this uh, be smart. <laughs> and as you saw, I just got wrecked. <laughs> My all time best is only 19 waves in about 8 minutes. But I'm pretty sure I've only done this like two three four times and that was like when it first came out just now and maybe like one other time but hope you guys enjoyed this little oreo showcase as you can see i came nowhere near the best shout out to azuma however you pronounce your name nice equips i am very surprised a wizard made it that long i can't imagine being in the arena for an hour and a half that's a nice rogue like, I'm surprised you made it that far with that. But yeah, came nowhere near close to the high score. Um, weekly, you know, your boy's at the top, because you know no one does this, so challenge me. Maybe, maybe there'll be a reward if these aren't, I don't know if the weekly re leaderboards are messed up, or if I'm actually the only person that has done it. But... Maybe not. I I don't quite know. I don't know what's going on here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little video of me showcasing the Oreo I got. Uh, 
if you want to see the whole video of the PPE that I got it with, I uploaded that yesterday, so make sure you go check that out. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, guys, peace out.